water here is absolutely beautiful. Lovely and clear. The weeds growing in the bottom of the lake, which is good, gives the sediment down, which helps. And just another stunning day in Queensland. Yeah, it's coming into a nice deep little sort of cliff face here. In the rock ledges, looks fairly deep. There's some grass weeds around as it comes up onto the sandy bank, so it's a nice little spot to come back to this evening. It's now 11 o'clock, so not the right time of the day to be too deep, I would suggest this time of the day. But we'll see if we look back and back here this evening and uh, cut a few lines in amongst these deeper banks and see if we can get something uh, to come up and take a bite. I have to say I've been spoiled rotten with weather guys. The forecast today is for 80% rain and so far looking very very good. There's a chance of a storm in the afternoon as well. So we'll see how we get on with that. I have brought a tarp this time so we'll see if we can get that set up this time just in case we do get that rain hit. And uh, yeah, looking forward to a very nice evening out on the lake. How peaceful is this? It's one thing I love about these canoes, just how quiet you can be. Think of these old fashioned single paddle. Really stealthy, really super quiet, which is just lovely. Just come down to a quiet neck in the lake here. Nice big bank on my right. There's a little creek coming down here, so let's go into the entrance of the little creek. See if I can get up in the bankman here amongst the trees and find a shady spot to camp. And uh, we'll see how we get on in there. But looks promising. Just need a flat spot for a tent, somewhere I can string a tarp up, and uh, we'll be set for the night. So let's just see how we get on. This little cliff here would be nice to come fishing with tonight too. There's some lots of rocks underneath the water here. So um, this is shaping up to be a very nice little spot to camp. A few little areas we can fish along the banks here, so yeah, on those you didn't have a look. Okay, so I think we found ourselves a perfect little spot here. There's just a nice little flat spot this there. Just enough room for a tent, which will be perfect. It's not a bad outlook out over the lake. And just up on the trees here, I'll show you a spot here where we can set the tarp up. Just in case we do get that storm tonight. And we can sit under that fire. Plenty of firewood on the ground here, which is good. As you know, I don't like big roaring fires, so it'll just be a little bit of a fire to cook with. Maybe even use the stove, we'll see. But uh, essentially, if we go across to here, use this little tree here, this little guy, and then go across to this little guy just here. And then this will be the view sitting up on the bank. So it wouldn't be too shabby. You can see there's an old access road coming down through there, which has got no tie marks on it at all, so it hasn't been used for a long, long time. I suggest that's just for probably when there's bushfires or things like that. You can see there's a bit of burnt bark here on some of the old trees it's been a fire through here i don't know looks like probably about five to ten years ago so uh yeah we'll certainly make sure that we don't do the same but yeah so the canoe is just down over on the lake here so we'll just go down and pick him pick up some of the gear and drag it up now we'll get yourself set up and then we'll have the afternoon to relax and then do a bit of fishing in the evening Those of you that are interested, I thought I'd just show you how I uh, packed up my gear for this weekend. I was given this bag for my birthday uh, several years ago by my family, and it's a dry bag actually for uh, diving or free diving, that type of stuff. 
and I've been using it now this obviously for canoeing so but in this it's about maybe 50 60 liters I've then got obviously the tarp uh, tent lights camping gear sleeping bag all my main bedroom if you like is in here and then here's all this little cooler bag that Matt 20 even gave me is all my cooking gear food um, things like that so it's very easy just two main bags and then another dry bag obviously for my technology etc really really easy to have it all just in one bag and it's a little bit heavy because I've got a three kilogram tent um, and some of the other gear I've got in there the chair and so forth so it is a little bit heavy to carry around but in the canoe it makes no difference at all 100% dry absolutely fantastic and just using what I've got so very easy to get all this into just a couple of little bags in the canoe and off we go so as I said really follows along for my minimalist camping idea is to just have a few little items just to go camping with and you know get outdoors and have a great time with little cost this little guy here four dollars four dollars it came up for two liter bottles just got a couple of those that gives me about five liters for the trip and obviously it's a fresh water lake so we could drink the water boil it up and drink that as well if we need to but five liters should be more than enough just for a quick overnight camp so very very easy setup guys Well, it's two in the afternoon. I'm just sitting here getting some sun on this white winter skin of mine. Having a cool off. Yeah, it's 32 degrees today here on the lake. Celsius, that is. So, yeah, very, very warm. But, hey, camp set up. Yeah, just coming down to the lake now to have a bit of a relax and a cool off. About four o'clock, we'll jump back in the canoe and get the rod back out, get that all set up and... We'll head back out and see if we can find some of these elusive bass. There's also some golden perch in here, which would be even better uh, from an eating point of view. So, yeah, just having a lovely cool off now. Can't complain, guys. Cannot complain at all. come back up here under the, the tarp the uh, storm has just turned up but it's almost faded out as fast as it started I'll turn the camera around in a moment so you can see it so just having a quiet beer cheers by the way um, the humidity now is about 89 90 percent so it is very very hot probably about 28 degrees Celsius the difference here in the uh, subtropics of course is when it rains it's still warm it's not freezing cold so it's just started to uh, pitter-patter across the lake down in front of me now. You can hear it on the, uh, the tarp above me. So yeah, just going to cool off under the shade here with the cool beer. And we'll watch the storm roll through.
Well, as I found the other day with the, uh, when I was cooking the bacon and eggs, these little fires are great, but they tend to cook very, very quickly. So you be very careful as to how long you keep these things on the fire. Just cooking a little bit of pork steak here, which will have some noodles and some Asian uh, sauce as well. I'm just trying to adjust the heat here so it doesn't burn. Absolutely stunning night now. Nice blue sky. Perfect. Clearing up. Pink clouds. Cannot complain. This is just sensational. Okay, just got some noodles on now. Just a little bit of water here, which is perfect. Just watching the sunset. It's just absolutely stunning, so I can't complain about that. Little fires now settled down nicely. Absolutely brilliant. Very, very happy with this little twig stove, I've got to say. I know I keep saying that, but it is a magical little thing, so really enjoying that. We'll cook these up and get on with our dinner. Alright, noodles are done. Try and get some of this water out. There we go. Excellent. All right, well, the pork's turned out perfectly. Get that into there as well. All the associated juices. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, some of the secret sauce. Got this recipe, surprise, surprise, off TikTok. It was a uh, pork chow min. Quite simple. It's just soy sauce, oyster sauce, black vinegar, and white pepper. You just mix it all up. Really simple, but my goodness, it tastes absolutely brilliant. So, let's see how this tastes. Well, it looks good. Mmm, -hmm. really good. Well, as always, I'm going to sit back and enjoy this, and I'll chat to you guys later on this evening. Well, dinner was fantastic. Really, really lovely. The noodles and the uh, pork steak were absolutely brilliant. Very, very warm night. I'm not going to bother with the fire tonight. It's probably still about 28 degrees Celsius and about 75, 80% humidity with all the moisture in the air. So it's very, very hot. Just having a cup of tea to help me uh, get to sleep and a little bit of chocolate. And then I'll probably just tuck off into the tent. It's going to be a very warm one tonight. I was hoping that the, uh, the cloud would clear up and we get some stars and let the heat out of the atmosphere and a bit of a breeze, but that hasn't eventuated unfortunately. I can still see there's a little bit of lightning on the far west on the horizon, so there might be another storm coming through. So I think at this stage, rather than sort of sitting around a fire, there's no fire tonight, far too hot for a fire. Um, that little stove was more than enough heat for me for one night. So yeah, I'll have this cup of tea and then uh, toddle off to bed, and I'll catch up with all you guys in the morning.
was a pretty wild night. Another two storms come across. Yeah, for a couple of times the rain. That was alright. Good thing about it, it did cool the weather down, so that was nice. I was able to actually get into my sleeping bag, which was good. That must have been about 3 a.m. And then I had a couple of crows come and wake me up at about 5 a.m. So that was great. I was able to get out and get myself organized. Enjoy the morning. So we're just going to now get out of this shadowy area here and we'll start chasing some of these bass. Well, there's something coming up to the water and sucking something off the surface. I can't tell whether it's fish or turtles. There was turtles in here. Well, there are turtles in there, I should say. There was one sticking up on a log yesterday. When I came back to the canoe yesterday afternoon, there was one sitting down the bank as well. So there are little turtles in here. <clears throat> but um, just a beautiful, beautiful morning to be fishing, I've got to tell you. Not a breath of wind, just done. some feedback from one of my uh, subscribers Ken on to uh, just to slow down the retrieve so we're trying that this morning and I'll see if that helps it out as well well there was no luck along the bank here so what I'm going to try and do is get down to these reeds down here where the little yellow flower water plants get down to the water and just cast on the edge of that and see if there's any hiding out of the reeds and see if that brings us any joy. Guys, I hope you're all heaping well. But, um, Australia's now finally starting to come out of lockdown, which is good. Particularly Victoria. Melbourne has had the most number of lockdown days of any city in the world, which is not good. But they've now got plans to uh, vaccinate, and we're now getting up to that. So we're all slowly but surely coming back out of lockdown, which is fantastic. So. For those that have been bottled up and for those that are going into the northern winter, I hope this uh, allows you to live your life through myself and get out in the outdoors and just see how beautiful Australia and particularly Queensland is. Well, I gave it about 10 minutes along this grassy bank and no joy at all. I'm just going to keep working my way down to the river. You might remember yesterday I talked about a cliff face, which is just down the end of the, the uh, dam here. So or well, lake I should say. I'm just going to head back over to more banks over here and then we'll head towards our cliff and see if that gives us any joy. Well you know it's coming into summer when the flies are out. Very lucky there was no mosquitoes or midges here last night which is absolutely brilliant. Happy with that. I've got to tell you, there's nothing more picturesque than a perfectly still lake. Well, no joy at all. I've been using this little bright orange and yellow guy. You guys probably know more about these things than I do, but I think that may not be the colour today, so we're going to change that. Because I am seeing fish coming up to the surface, as I said. And um, try another lure and we'll see how they get on with that. Alright, so I've gone for this little brown, green, yellow little guy, a bit more of a natural colour. Hoping that this will be uh, more palatable to the little bass. And we'll see how we get on with this. Oh, you do see the strangest things on lakes. This is a kangaroo swimming in a lake. Not sure where he's off to here. Don't get too close and scare him. Where are you off to, little fella? I have never seen a kangaroo swimming in a lake. I'm going to leave him alone. Let him get back up onto the bank. Just on 7.30. Still have any luck here, guys. Any more tips you got for cashing bass would be greatly appreciated, but I'm just going to... Uh, Keep going on this wall here and just work it and uh, head back towards camp and maybe have some coffee and a bit of breakfast. Well, we've got the water on for coffee, halfway through our breakfast. 
These overnight oats are just an absolute boon, I gotta tell you. No clean up, no cooking. Absolutely brilliant, and tastes delicious. So let's wait for this water to boil. I'm gonna have my first coffee, which I cannot wait for. Be interesting to hear everyone's point of view on different coffee systems. I had the um, stovetop coffee percolator, which was fantastic. A bit too heavy for this sort of gear. Gone to these little coffee bags, which are like tea bags, but with coffee in them. They're not too bad. I like them. But I'm interested in the um, different coffee presses you can get these days, different systems people have for making coffee. If you wouldn't mind, leave a, um, a message in the comments down below. Let me know how you guys do it. Always interested in how, see how other people and cook coffee when they're out on the uh, out in the camp. That's better. Well, I'm not sure if you can hear it or not. The wind started to pick up now. You can see the movement on the lake down below me here. It makes it quite difficult if you're pushing it back into the wind with the canoe. So um, I'll probably end up just backing up camp, heading back to the car. If the wind then drops off, I'll head back out onto the lake and go around the wall and some of the deeper areas of the lake, have another try with a the lure there. But certainly uh, no luck this morning or yesterday afternoon. Which is a bit disappointing, but that's all right. Campsite here is absolutely perfect up on the ridge line. Uh, the tarp worked out an absolute treat overnight with the storms that came through, kept all my gear dry. And the tent site was fine. So I'll mark this one on Gaia as a fishing camp to come back to because it is, is very, very good from that perspective and you're away from all the mosquitoes and the meaties down on the lake, which is good as well. So, so I'll sign up for this week. Thank you all for joining me on this journey, on this uh, adventure in my little canoe. Absolutely love the canoe. Um, probably change some of the cooking gear I've got and just to reduce some of the weight again. And at some point in time, I'll buy a lighter weight tent. But other than that, very happy with what I've got and how it works from a campsite point of view. So I look forward to catching up with all you guys in two weeks' time. Bye for now.